I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, newly minted Best Actress Oscar winner Julianne Moore, Twilight Vamp Robert Pattinson, hard to pronounce her last name Mia Wasikowska, and John Cusack headline Map to the Stars. Let's give it a review. This isn't a very glamorous job. I would be the most loyal, most competent, most grateful personal assistant you've ever had. David Cronenberg's Maps to the Stars is one of the most scathing indictments of the entertainment industry ever put on film. It's also a grotesque, self-indulgent, and ultimately tiresome satire that leaves behind an unpleasant stench. Boy, that sounds like a good time at the movies, doesn't it? Now, I'm not saying we don't get some strong performances in Maps to the Stars. John Cusack is quite good here. He plays a hypocritical self-help guru to the stars. Evan Bird is frighteningly good as his 13-year-old son, Benji. He's a child star whose behavior makes Justin Bieber seem like a choir boy. Mia Wasikowska is a delusional young woman who befriends Robert Pattinson's chauffeur, who of course wants to be an actor and a writer. Julianne Moore overplays her hand at times with her histrionics, but she is a great actress. Here she's playing a very good actress named Havana, who's now past her prime. Havana's dead mother, who was an iconic actress in the 60s, haunts Havana. Like she literally shows up and haunts her. Everybody here gets a chance to chew up the scenery. They're playing characters ranging from pathetic to pathological to desperate to deeply disturbed to out of their friggin' minds. There's not an ounce of sincerity in any of these people, and they seem to spend maybe 99% of their time making deals and scheming and manipulating and lying, and maybe 1% of their time actually focusing on doing, you know, good work. Look, I'm no apologist for Hollywood. We all know the entertainment business is a contact sport. And some of the people are not just ambitious, they're morally bankrupt, and they'll stop at nothing to reach the top of the mountain and stay there. But that's some of the people, not all of them. In Maps to the Stars, it's hard to find a redeeming quality in any of these characters. Jeez, even the mobsters in Goodfellas had some positive qualities. This isn't a lousy film. It's a mediocre, ugly film about lousy people. I give Maps to the Stars C-. I'm Richard Roper. You get all my reviews right here, richardroper.com.